Welcome back to Cocktails and Conversation. My guest today is Jim Shea, who is the president and owner of Premier Rides. And we have been sitting at the mezzanine bar at the Bygone, which has the most incredible inventory of whiskeys that you will find um, in the area and the most incredible view. Um, if you haven't been to the Bygone, it's an absolute must. I'll tell you that one of, one of our things is that all our clients are yeah. from outside of Baltimore. So right. we're one of a, we're a very unique company that every client that we work with pretty much has to come to us because we do big design reviews. You know, we have almost a full city block in Little Italy and we have an engineering administrative uh, part of our business. And we have people from the Hollywood studios who come to us, people will fly all the way over from China. And, you know, it's very important for us to give a positive experience when they come here. Yeah. And it's actually pretty easy to give a, a there is nobody who leaves our office after coming here for a week for a design review without thinking they've had an, a magical week. And, and part of it, yeah. part of it is always bringing them right here, yeah. bring them up to the bygone. What would people who know you be surprised to learn about you? I'm a geek, you know, down, you know, way down there is just a technology geek. You know, it's a guy who, you know, my, my background is aerospace engineering. You were um, a rocket scientist. I, I was a ro I was fortunate that I could call myself a rocket scientist. I were, you know, I went to work for Howard Hughes's company when right after Howard Hughes, a few years after he had passed away. But I, I got to work with all, all those technology guys. You know, and Hughes was unbelievable. He was developing technologies to take us to Mars back in, you know, decades ago. So what geeks you out now? What fills you with wonder? You're, you're doing so much and you're already on the cutting edge. So what, what can still surprise you? I th you know, te technology, is always, I mean, you always accept what technology is today. You don't realize, you know, in mid 90s, there was no internet. Today we accept it. It's always what that new technology is. I, I actually think social media, the way that will, there will never be another generation that is not connected to as many people as they want. And, and connected doesn't mean seeing people. You and I don't need to see each other. We could be the best of friends and have never met because of social media. And I have, you know, I have hundreds of people that I'm connected with in China, in, in Shanghai alone, that, you know, I've seen once, but they're friends now. And that you can have a global network of friends when, as a child, you know, the, the TVs didn't have color, you know, there was that. Okay, so one final that. serious question. What makes you get silly? Do you ever get silly? Besides my wife. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. that's good. Um, and she will make me. She, she will make me. I mean, you know, I get silly when I enjoy, you know, I'm a big Ravens fan. Yeah? You want to oh. see, see me silly is when Ravens are, are, you know, having a great season, you know, showing up the rest of the league. Mm -hmm.